I, I have to I have to just simply say this. When the government amasses so much information about every facet of a person's life, you lose your control over your own existence. You lose it. You give it up. Why? Because people can manipulate you. You won't even know it's happening because of what they know about your bank accounts, of your friendships, about things yes. you shouldn't have done but did but didn't really hurt anybody. They can blackmail you. They can look at your choices and use that against you. What I'm trying to say is when you're in control of your own person, you make the choices about how to live freely. When they own all the information about you, they make those decisions and box you in in a way that they want. In other words, they decide whether you've done something wrong. You don't think you did, but there's no judge, no jury. Yep. They take control and make that decision. Now, if that sounds like it's okay to somebody, you're in, you're in a country that I don't want to be in. Me either. Yeah. They, they also have to understand that that's a total reversal of the underlying principles and founding uh, our founding fathers put into the Constitution. That is, the people were supposed to know what the government's doing. The government was not supposed to know what the people were doing. Mm -hmm. So I'd reflect back on what Reagan said, President Reagan. He said, we were a, a, a country with a government. <laughs> but now, uh, as Kirk has amply pointed out, we are a government with a country. It's a total flip of the intent of this nation.